Hi, we are Carla and Carolina, and we are going to present you a story based on the paint of self-portrait by Frida Kahlo. It all started with the most beautiful lady in the kingdom. Every single being wanted to take her hand, but what about her? What did she wish for? She was chained to be perfect, to follow the stupid pattern so that she became the most wished wife for her king. Under her mother's orders, she had been taking classes to prepare herself for the future. Mother, please, don't make me become into something I don't want to. I deserve to be free, to live my own life without having to place anyone. She begged, but the answer was always the same. It's not in our hand to decide, my love. Her mother told her every single time, while lowering her head. One night, tired of hearing the same stupid things, she decided to pack her stuff. Already walking through the gigantic garden of the palace, a thin tall man called her attention. He was cutting some flowers by the side of his amusing black monkey. Are the flowers too plain? She asked the young boy. They don't, but I bet your beauty does. He replied, stretching his arm to hand her the flower. The girl quickly understood, therefore a smile spread across her face. Wow, never in a million times I've seen such a beautiful smile. The gentleman responded. Suddenly, butterflies blew out her stomach. It felt magical. That was the first time she experimented that feeling. Would it be possible for me to join you? You see, I'm escaping from my home, as it's impossible to live here. Would you mind? You'd make me the happiest man if you did. Come on, follow me. He grabbed her hand and drove her until they arrived to a small hut on a tree. It was the most beautiful one she had ever seen, so colorful with leaves and flowers all over it. The boy gave her his monkey so that she knew he liked her. As the days passed by, her feelings grew. She had the opportunity to get to know him better, but one night when she really convinced herself that she loved him, he said something she would never imagine. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It was an accident. I didn't mean to break it. She apologized to him because of dropping a jar he had. No, don't worry. I'm the stupid one for imagining that you would be able of doing something better than just cleaning. That's why you're a woman. Wait, what? How can you say that? She asked while tears came out of her brown eyes. He grabbed a broom and then threw it to the innocent girl. If you don't clean it, I'll kick you out of my house. A couple of hours later, when everything had been cleaned by the young woman, the boy said, Sorry for everything I said earlier. I had an anger attack and I couldn't control it. He said while grabbing her hands in a delicate way. Did you really mean all those things? Of course I didn't. I love you. you. Every day, the boy blamed her because of something different, saying rude things to her, and after returning to calm, he apologized to her as if nothing had happened. She was so tired of it, she really thought that he loved her, but for sure, she knew that wasn't true love. That same night, she started packing her things, jumped off the window, and started running until she found herself lost in the forest. She was tired, so sad, that tears came out even harder than the last time. She felt completely awful. That's why she decided to lie on gigant leaves from a tree that were on the floor. She fell asleep. The next morning, she found herself surrounded by lots of animals. Rabbits, birds, frogs, deer, butterflies. They were all beautiful. At first, she felt kind of scared, but then she realized that they weren't in defense. All the animals started helping her and together they built a tree house made of wood, mud, leaves and flowers. It was beautiful. By the end of the week, she proclaimed herself the queen of the forest, as all the animals in it loved her, including the black monkey. She finally felt happy with the one she loved. She finally felt herself again. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoyed it.